Hey folks, Randy Go, Trout Mega Man with you here today. Uh, got a little video for you here, me catching more stalker trout over at Normandy. Uh, been going over there quite a bit. Uh, have not always taken a video camera with me. Uh, one of the days I went, I had uh, was wade fishing um, and did not take the video uh, camera with me. I wish I had. I had two 18 inch rainbows, simply beautiful fish. Uh, but it was my first time wade fishing in a long time and uh, uh, just didn't take the, the camera to, to strap it on there. But anyway, uh, went over there the other day and matter of fact, for the past two weeks, I, I think I've had, I don't know, six, seven trips over there or something in the past two weeks. I've caught over 400 trout. I mean, it's, it's of course, they're stalker trout folks. They're not, you know, there's nothing any great size there unless you get in one of the brood trout. But on the gear I'm using, it's a ton of fun, I tell you. In a short drive, go over there and catch 20, 30 fish, have lunch, catch another 20, 30, 40 fish, come on home. It's, it's hard to beat that. It's hard to beat. But on this trip, I took, uh, and y'all have heard me talk about my new uh, Tenru Rays Spectra rod. Um, and I'd, I'd taken it over a couple of times with some crankbaits trying to get some trout to hit. And I had... I had a couple of fish uh, early on with that, with the uh, Ryuki uh, uh, minnow. Uh, but I mean, it just wasn't tearing it up, you know, and I'm like, you know, and, and I know I can catch fish with the trout magnet, and so I put the rod down, and I start fishing with the trout magnet. Of course, I tried the trout magnet on the, the tin root, and it works out great, uh, but I have a lot more fun uh, fishing the trout magnet working the uh, diplomatic stream rod. But uh, this time, I went over there, uh, I took my uh, crankbaits, started out trying the crankbaits, uh, the ones I got from Jack Al Timmon. I made about 10 casts and I, I didn't even get a hit. And I'm like, you know, I'm, I don't want to, I knew there were trout in there, so I don't want to sit here and, and uh, you know, make 50 casts and catch two trout. I said, I don't know why they won't be biting these crankbaits. Maybe they don't like them. Uh, maybe it's not the right bait for there. I don't know. Uh, more time will determine that. But anyway, I had also tried, I'd ordered four spoons from finessefishing.com. Uh, they're the uh, Forest River, I think they're called Abalone Spoons. Uh, I'll have to look up here and see. I forget the name of stuff, I'll get so much stuff going on here. Uh, but they're made by Forest River, and Chris Stewart sells them at finessefishing.com in different weights. I say he sells them in different weights. You ain't gonna find many weights there now because I bought out darn near every spoon he had when I got back home. The, the uh, Forest MIU uh, Abalone Spoons. Here's a package of them right here. You can see that. Every spoon, it's the same color, so to speak, but it's a different pattern. It looks like a mother of pearl on here if you can see that and I don't know how well you'll be able to see that uh, I've got some in the video before it's out in the sunlight and you can see it but I mean it's an absolutely beautiful beautiful color uh, and all of them are different and I had four of them they come with the uh, uh, the number six I believe it is here let's see here uh, I think this is number six hook I believe it is number six uh, single micro barb hook and, and Folks, it's sharp. Let me tell you, it's real sharp. Now, the, the spoons I tried uh, in this video were the 2.8 gram. The flow at Normandy is uh, right at 300 cubic feet per second, which you can still fish a trout magnet there, but you're getting very close to where it's going to be hard to fish a trout magnet. Uh, and so I said, you know, I'm going to try some spoons. And I never had any luck with spoons before. I, you know, I fished Castmaster spoons for white bass, and that does great. But I've tried spoons a couple of times for trout, U.S. made spoons. I just never had any, any luck with them. Well, I'm gonna tell you folks, this uh, Forest River Abalone Spoon, it's the real deal. This joker can catch some trout. Now what you have to do when you're fishing a spoon, uh, and I'm glad I read uh, one of the articles that uh, Chris had published on his website, because uh, it hit me when I'm fishing a spoon over there, hey, you need to slow this thing down. You got to get it down there where the trout are. You got to get it close to the bottom. And let me tell you, fishing in four feet of water or fishing in two feet or a foot of water, you learn how to retrieve this thing. You're going to hit it. And those, I mean, those fish are going to hit it 
and they hit it with authority, which is why I bought that rod. I wanted to feel that, that jolt when, uh, when a trout hits it. Trout don't necessarily hit a trout magnet like that. They will it sometimes, but very rarely they just nip it. They just barely get it in their mouth. It's just a little tick. But with these, the fish, you can feel that hit. And boy, it's, it's a great feeling. That's why I bought that rod. Uh, I mean, I, I caught 64 trout over there, uh, just, I guess it's yesterday. Yesterday or day before. And um, I'd say 20 of them I caught on the Forest River Spoon. And probably could have caught the whole bunch on Forest River, but I switched them back uh, using two different rods. Uh, I really like that Diplomatic Stream for the smaller fish. Although, the Tenru Rays rod will give you a lot of fun. I mean, it's that, that, that rod's rated for light, light. Uh, and it's, it's, it's a lot of fun, even on stalker trout and in current. Now, when you're looking at the video, you can see a little bit of current there, and it doesn't look like much current, but it don't take much current when you're trying to reel in a eight or nine inch fish. If you don't have the correct rod, uh, you can you can know it real quick. And the uh, uh, Tenru rays really, really shines in that current, and you know, even though I haven't caught any big fish with it yet, you, you know it's gonna work out great. Uh, I love fishing with it. I love fishing these spoons. Matter of fact, I come home, Got online, ordered all I could order. Unfortunately, uh, on the uh, 2.8 gram, Chris is now out. Uh, and I'm hoping he's going to get some more in. And so, but I went on and ordered some some of the bigger spoons, the, uh, the three grams, which I bought every one of those he had, I guess it was. And I also ordered some of uh, the, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the 3.5 grams is what I ordered. And I also ordered uh, some of the four point, let's see what they are here, the 4.2 grams, and he still has some of those. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you folks, if you're a trout fisherman, uh, you want a lure that's gonna catch fish, this will catch some trout. Now I'm here to tell you, they slam it, they love it. Uh, and I can only imagine when I get around some bigger fish, uh, and there's some bigger fish in the waters there somewhere, I don't, you know, I don't know, you know, that place is highly pressured. I mean, highly pressured, which is another thing that impressed me about this, this spoon is, uh, you know, those fish over there have seen about everything you can see and had everything thrown at them for, you know, the past since November. Uh, in that area I'm fishing, especially, because that's where most people go to is right there, right below the dam, and they wear it out. I mean, they wear it out, they wear out the trout. But this, this, this thing really shined. Now, for those of you watching that may be trout police here, don't get on to me about how I'm handling a trout in a video. I couldn't wade. The water was just a little bit too deep uh, to wade where I was going to get out into, and I didn't want to do that. I'm not quite yet. I'm just not ready for that. I need to get a little bit more stability on my feet, uh, and it wasn't conducive to using a net, really, where I was at. Uh, and uh, so I just landed them trout the best way I could. Uh, when you're, you know, when I went over wade fishing using my net, uh, of course, you're standing in water that's thigh deep, and it's just it's very simple. You don't have to bend over anything to uh, to try to get the net, although I had to bend over to get the fish. Uh, you squat down to get the fish as best you can. Uh, the bike is coming along uh, good. Uh, it's not 100%. Uh, it's just going to take time, but I'm a lot better than I was. Uh, so much so that I'm going fishing, trout fishing a lot, standing a lot. I'm able to stand much, much more than I ever have been for years and years. But... Uh, Anyway, uh, just wanted to get this video published. I've got uh, uh, more plans to go fishing. Uh, you know, uh, would have been trout fishing today, but it's going to be 30 mile an hour winds, and that's no good for an ultralight angler. Uh, the uh, Tenru Rays Spectrum, if you're looking for a stream rod, folks, I'm telling you, it's the rod to get. I, I love that rod. It's just, it's just a lot of fun. I love fishing with it. Uh, I need to get me a, I need to switch the line over to a slow speed reel. I had the twin pie reel on that rod. Uh, and those conditions, I need to slow down a little bit more. Anything you can do to, to help you slow down and a, a lower ratio reel will help me do that. I need to do that. Also got a net I'm going to be doing a review on. Uh, I don't know how many dedicated trout fishermen watch this channel. This is a fish pond emerger net, Nomad Emerger. And let me tell you folks, it's a high quality net, which it ought to be for what it costs. I uh, bought another net from Amazon and uh, 
trying to cheap out. Don't ask me why I do that when I spend the money I spend on the other gear, and I tried to cheap out on that, but I did it. It was 39 bucks, and uh, it wasn't worth a darn, so back it went. So anyway, uh, I hope you all enjoy the video. Uh, pay attention there to, to, you know, where the current is. Look for when I'm fishing with the spoon. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to tell I'm fishing with the spoon because I'm having a different rod in my hand, the, the, the rod with the wood reel seat. Uh, and see if you can detect uh, the tip, uh, which is hard to do. Even though I have the camera in super view, it's not getting top of the tip of the rod like I thought it would. It, it's not much different fishing wide view, just to tell you the truth. But anyways, a lot of action over there, a lot of fun, a whole lot of fun. I tell you, I, I thoroughly enjoy that, where you can catch one fish, not, not every cast, but almost every cast, and just bam, 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 bam. Have a lot of fun with the with the gear I'm using. It's just it's just it's just great day to be alive, folks. I'm telling you, it's just a great day. So anyway, folks, uh, hope all of you're doing well. Hope all of you are safe. Uh, once again, appreciate you supporting the channel. Appreciate the comments. Until next time, sold up them all, and life is good. And to go trout mega man with you here today. I'm over here in Normandy today. Uh, flows too much to wade really for me. So I'm gonna try to throw some crankbaits uh, that I got from Japan with the new uh, Tenru Rays Spectra rod. See what it feel like to get a good jolt on the, if I can get a trout to hit this. So come on with me folks and let's see what we can get. Here we go, here we go folks. Here we go. Nice fish here. Nice enough. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Shoot, I'll take a bunch of these. Now, I started out here to... Uh, check on the... Crankbait. Nice little... Stalker trout, yes sir. It give me a lot of fun. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, folks. Yes, sir. He's putting on a show for me. He's putting on a show for me. That joker. He's fighting now. This joker's fighting good. Yes, sir. Come on in here. Come on in here. Yes, sir. Come here now. Simmer down. Simmer down. I'm going to let you go. Simmer down. Another, another good stalker on the, on the trout magnet. Yes, sir. Let's let him go. There he goes, folks. GoPro. Here we go, folks. Got me another one. Come on there, settle down. Settle down. That one got a hold of him. Something, something got a hold of him. All right. Go, pro. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Unfortunately, I can't get down there to get the net on them fish. That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. Somebody left old lighter there. Okay. There we go, folks. Another, another decent sized stock. Fun catching the oh man, what you talking about? <laughs> yep, he's a good stalker.
I caught two. I, I wasn't another. Planning on it, and I remember they stalked the day before. I caught two. Another good and stalker, they folks. Video yep. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Come here. Come here. I don't like to do this, but I can't get down there to. Come here. What's your opinion? I know you don't know. What's your opinion? Where they go and talk about you need to get your hand wet? Hang on just a minute, let me do this video here. Here's another, another pretty stalker. It's pretty, pretty nice fish. Here we go, here we go folks. Show felt good. Show felt good hitting on the Tenru Ray's Spectra on the spoon here. Yes sir. All right. Yes sir. Here we go. Finally got to fish this rod like it needs to be fished. All right. Nice little trout. Yes, sir. That's a pretty good little... I think that's a forest spoon. I'll have to check and see. But anyway, that's a nice little trout. I don't know if you can get this is the MIU, the 2.8 gram. I don't know if you can see that or not. The boy's got the iridescent. Looks like mother of pearl, but it's all iridescent. Here we go. Here we go, folks, on the Forest River. Yes, sir. On the Forest River. Yes, sir. This thing works. This lure works. This lure works. Yes, sir. You better believe. When I get home, I'm going to go to finesse fishing. Oh, he got, a, got off there. There he goes. Here we go. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Catch them all day. Been catch them all day. Another pretty little, pretty little stalker. Yes, sir. Here we go. Here we go, folks. Here we go. That joker. There he comes. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Another nice stalker, folks. Catching them all day long. All day long. Yes, sir. Another pretty stalker. A lot of fun on this gear, folks. Here we go, here we go. Oh boy, you can feel it, Joker. He hit that Joker. Yes, sir. That's a small fish, but uh, there he is. He's gone. He's gone. Here we go. Here we go, folks. He hit it. He hit it. He knocked the fire out of it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the forest. M-I-U. Yes, sir. This is just a... Well... Let's see. You can get him. He'll get out of here. Let's see. Let's get him. Alright. Alright. Got another good picture here of a... Pretty stalker on the... Come on now. Send him down. 
That's pretty fish. Pretty fish on the spoon. Forest River. Yes, sir. Let's let him swim off here. There he goes. He's gone. There he goes. There he goes, folks. There he goes. Yes, sir. This spoon is the real deal. Now, I'm telling you. It's got the single hook. The micro barb. Yes, sir. He hit at it and it got him. And these hooks are sharp. I need to get a pair of forceps. Now there's a there's a pretty little pretty little stalker. Yes, sir. Give me a lot of fun. What you talking about? Let's see if you can get a you can get a good image of this. Oops, he's gone. Let's see if we can get a good image of that in the sun there. Let's see see what that looks like. He made a beautiful spoon. Here we go folks. Here we this good fish here. This good trout here. Well, I say that. Yes sir. Hit the forest river. Again, let me tell you folks, this, this lure is a keeper. This lure is a keeper. This lure is a keeper. No doubt about it. Yes sir. Yes, sir. He got it. He got it good. He got it good. Get all that off of him. Yes, sir. Another nice stalker on the Forest River. GoPro. There he is. He hit it. I hope y'all saw that. He hit it. He hit it good. Yes, sir. He hit it good. Yes, sir. Come on in here. Come on in here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Once again. On the Forest River Spoon. Yes, sir. There he is. There he is. Felt him when he picked it up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, come on now. Get out of here. Come on. Little stalker, hit it, yes sir.